Hey guys, it's Nick here, Motion Dad, and I got a little quick kind of text animation thing here that I want to show you. Uh, not really a big deal, but just a quick one. And, um, you know, we all animate text, and there's just, you know, a million different things you can do with it. And sometimes you're just like looking for ideas, something you haven't done before, or something that doesn't look like it's straight out of the text animator. Um, so I found this thing, it's kind of like a blobby organic text uh, transition look and I think it's kind of cool it's this kind of prove the user experience when receiving updates please build a well-designed so just like that like a like a quick little kind of blob on and then kind of blob out kind of thing and it's pretty simple to do I think it's a pretty cool look and let's get into it so um, start from scratch here and I'll just do some text text box Um, so yeah, so right out of the box, it's kind of blocky, you know, I just wanted to do something with it, I wasn't quite sure, uh, it just looked kind of plain up there, and, you know, there's, there's a bunch of different ways I could have went about this, and this is just the way I chose, so, um, yeah, I got this text, and I'm gonna just go to effects, and type in simple choker. And if you're not familiar with Simple Choker, uh, it's a pretty good effect. It's just a really very basic alpha uh, alpha channel choker, uh, so it kind of shrinks your mat down. It uh, comes in handy if you're doing green screen stuff, but you can use it in other ways. Um, you can use it in this way. So uh, just if you just kind of scroll this, you, you kind of see what's going on here. So if it goes too negative you get these like really kind of blobby kind of structures around it and it's kind of black and the black just means that's the showing you the alpha really um, so to do that we're just going to use this fill effect and uh, just make it white and then we have this blob and then if we scroll up to zero type in zero we get back to our our text so I don't want to do that I want to kind of make it this kind of glowy kind of blobby text and you want to be real careful because you know if you go too much you, these like quotes and stuff start to run together and look real weird um, so yeah so I guess what we'll do is go to the start and go to like negative 75 or something and then we get this blob keyframe and I'm gonna hit shift page down shift page down again so we're out 20 frames and then go uh, we can go to zero and we'll get back to normal but to make it look a little bit more interesting I'll go to like negative six and that will give it this like kind of glowy edge that I think looks really good and hit you to kind of see our keyframes and I'm going to use motion to kind of ease this in but you know if you don't have motion you can always use the graph uh, editor I highly recommend motion motion to uh, it's a lifesaver makes everything so easy um, you know it's got this kind of like jarring kind of boom and it focuses in but not quite and then, if we wanted to transition out, hit keyframe again. I'm going to command click this. So it's just like a normal keyframe. And then I'll, um, instead of going back out, I'm going to shrink the mat, close it in, and just like kind of let these kind of disappear like smoke. Kind of like that. Let's see how this looks. Maybe a look, maybe a little fast, and maybe we can kind of ease this keyframe in. So, I mean, it's meant to be quick. You know, it's it's just meant to be a transition, and it's meant to just 
really just be a little bit more interesting than like, you know, just a fade in or fade out. Um, but yeah, I really like this, this thing. I feel like it can go a lot further. You can like kind of separate the words and have them kind of blob in on their own. Another thing you can do if you wanted to make them like even more organic is roughing edges. And that gives it this kind of like cut kind of thing. And you can play around. If you've never messed around with rough and edges, I mean, it's pretty much the way to make things look kind of hand drawn in After Effects, like, you know, without much work. And it's not perfect. It's not a perfect solution, but it's that kind of quick and dirty kind of way to do it. Um, and that gives it just a little bit more of a not perfect edge and I think it looks really cool um, you just you got to be subtle with it you know what I mean um, so yeah that's basically it uh, hope you found this helpful and um, yeah if you haven't subscribed I'm, I'm trying to add more content to this uh, this channel you know uh, probably once a week so please subscribe I'd appreciate it and see you next time